Hey what is up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. There are two secret cars to unlock in game an off road car and a street car both classics the first is the VW Baja Bug and then we also have the classic Mercedes 300 SL. Both of these cars are unlocked in the form of collecting wrecks something returning from Test Drive Unlimited 2. And in today's video, I'm going to take you through district by district from 1 to 14 to collect all of the wrecks available so you can get your hands on these very secret cars. So without further ado, let's start off with district number one. So going in order of district number, Aberdeen is up first with three wrecks. Now the first wreck you're going to find is the secret classic car. Now I believe there are 14 of these and you're going to find it just under or in front of, should I say, this little bunker right here. If we go ahead and open up the map, I can show you this specific location. It's towards the north end of Aberdeen itself, just off one of the kind of main roads that will take you towards the meeting point. As you can see here, it's off one of the secret trails. The next one is going to be your first off-road collectible. Once again, just off one of the secret trails, you're going to head down to this sort of lake beachy kind of area. And it's actually going to be on your left hand side as you get in. As you can see, it's going to be on the edge of the water. You're going to head over to your left, drive up and collect this one. This is for the off-road vehicle. Once again, like previous, there are 14 of these to collect. So secret off-road car number one is going to be to this point of Aberdeen. As you can see, right at the peak, just on the border between the districts, it's going to be just here off on the secret trail. So there we go. That is collectible number two. And the third and final one in Aberdeen is super easy to get. You might have already got this one. Just before you get into the tunnels near one of the gas stations, you're going to see your secret off-road car collectible just sat there in a abandoned parking lot. And there you go. As you can see, this one's more towards the right hand side of Aberdeen, just next to the Aberdeen East gas station. So that is going to be all three collectibles. So heading into district number two, this is going to be Causeway Bay. There are two wrecks here. Now there's going to be one classic and one off-road. The first of the wrecks is going to be the classic sports car. Now in terms of the location, it's in this underpass near an alleyway. So look for the underpass and then you may see some construction work that seems to have been left over right in front of you. You'll also notice this big cherry picker. If you look around the back of it, this is where you're going to find the classic sports car. As you can see, we're just going to go ahead and get this one collected. Now in terms of the location, it's right towards the right hand side and north point of Causeway Bay itself. Just where this uh, petrol station is, that is where you're going to find it hidden under the overpass. So there you go, that is the classic sports car wreck for Causeway Bay. And the next one is of course going to be the off-road wreck. Now this one really isn't too bad to find. You're going to be looking for this kind of park area with sort of a lake and it's going to be slap bang in the middle on the secret trail. You really can't miss it, you'll spot it from a mile away and it's just going to be hidden off that little path in this sort of area uh, with the lake and the park. As you can see, this is more towards the bottom left hand side of Causeway Bay, just hidden on this secret trail right here towards the Solar Hotel. That's wreck number two, moving on to district number three. District number three is Central District. There is one single wreck to be found here. It's a little bit of an awkward location and it's actually once again kind of off the beaten path in this big park area or sort of recreational area. Now what you want to do is head down to sort of the bottom part where the steps are, look towards your left around one of the corners and you're going to find your secret off-road car just hidden there ready to be collected. Now in terms of the actual wreck location itself, I'm going to open up the map now and as you can see Central District is quite small. It's sort of towards the right hand side right at the north point just away from the sort of highway freeway area. So there we go, that is Central Central District done and dusted. So apologies for the pronunciation, but District 4 is Pok Fu Lam. There is two wrecks here. Again, there's going to be a classic and an off-road wreck. Now, the first one is quite awkward. In fact, I would say both of these are really quite awkward to get your hands on. 
I recommend finding the ramp area in this location. You'll probably know it as this is where the wreck will start appearing just above the minimap. You then want to head straight around on yourself and head down this secret trail. Once again, the wreck icon will show and then all you need to do is just follow it down to this sort of open area in the middle of it and there will be your classic sports car collectible. As you can see, it's going to be sat next to this green railing and some benches, so go ahead and collect it. Now in terms of the actual location on the map, again as mentioned it's quite an awkward place this district, it's going to be right towards the bottom left and the secret trail that you need to go across is going to be really really awkward to traverse. You might honestly want to get your hands on an off-road vehicle for this one but as you can see it's right here. Um, next up also is going to be a very awkward location. The wreck sign's going to show way before you actually get here but what you need to do is drive past it turn around and once again head down the secret trail. Again, you might need to bring an off-road vehicle as it is quite tight and compact. And if you bring in a high-powered road car, you're probably going to have a tough time just like I did here. So once again, you're just going to follow the trail all the way down. There's also going to be a money collectible here just towards the midsection. But you're basically going to be following it all the way to the bottom where the wreck is going to be sat in a sort of compound area. There is another way to get to it by getting down some steps. But I did notice that I was constantly getting reset doing that. That, you may be able to get lucky and just land it straight away when you do first see the little wreck icon pop up above the minimap. Anyway, you'll get to this sort of compound area and your secret off-road car collectible is going to be right here down to the bottom of the steps themselves. Looking at the map, as you can see, this is sort of in the midsection towards the north, again right on the left-hand side. As you can see, you do have one of the workshops just above it and it's going to be right here off the secret trail. District number five is going to be Quarry Bay. There are two wrecks to collect here, and again, there's gonna be one of each. Now, the first one that you're going to find is in this recreational ground here. Um, it looks like it sort of has some of these sort of old Hong Kong ships and stuff like that. You're gonna find the secret car just directly opposite them. Very easy to find this one. In terms of the actual map location, Quarry Bay, once again, isn't that big, and it's gonna be just upwards of the meeting point. This is where you're gonna find the location of your secret sports car. The second of these are going to be much more complex. The wreck area is going to show up way after where you actually need to enter. You're looking for this secret trail area here. It'll be marked by this sort of checkerboard. You then need to go all the way to the opposite end of the actual construction site. Again, it's a little bit awkward to traverse, so I do recommend an off-road vehicle. Now you're going to find that it's very, very you know, complex and full of containers. Now the actual section you're looking for is towards the rear end of it and to the left. I found the easiest way to get in here was a gap in between the containers and then it's going to be on your right hand side in this sort of you know open area where they're sort of working on something so this is where you're going to find your secret off-road car now in terms of the actual location it's right at the top hand left side of quarry bay itself you can't really miss it once you know it's there it's a huge playground location District number six is Happy Valley. There are two wrecks to collect here. Now the first one is gonna be in the racetrack area. So you'll need to find the entrance, head through the tunnel and actually get onto the track itself. You're then gonna to have to do a bit of a lap of the track. However, there are some cut throughs to be able to get there a little bit quicker. So I'm just gonna speed this section up. You want to head down to sort of the main start straight, the start finish line. At that point, there's gonna be a little cut through on your left hand side. So you'll see the you know starting lights, then look towards your left, and you're gonna see a little cut through barrier. So head towards there, and then you're gonna see another little gated section exactly in front of you. Don't follow what I did there. I just kind of went round in circles and had to loop back. So as soon as you do one of the cut throughs, the next part is right in front of you in this sort of sanded off area. And there is going to be your secret classic car waiting to be collected. Now in terms of the map location for this one, it's really not too difficult. It's quite easy to find the racetrack itself. It's towards the northern point of Happy Valley, just above the American car dealership. 
pretty much opposite that is the racetrack it's going to be just off of that start finish location the second wreck is super simple to find where you see the happy valley north gas station it's going to be towards the left hand side of the actual forecourt so just go ahead and collect your secret off-road car super simple to find this one a little bit like the tunnel one earlier it's right inside the happy valley north gas station super simple to get that one done let's move on to district seven Two wrecks in District 7, Repulse Bay for this one. Now there again is going to be one of each. Now the first one can be quite awkward. It's going to ping you quite far away from the actual location. As you can see here, it even managed to kind of lead me off the track of where exactly I needed to be. But where you're actually going to head is towards this right hand section here, down the downhill and then head once again straight right. At that point you're going to head down towards the beach and then you're going to head left on the main road. At that point, drive down the steps onto the actual beachfront, and there you'll go, and you'll be able to find the wreck. As you can see, heading towards the right, down the steps, and we're going to find the wreck just down to the right-hand side, almost on this sort of platformed section. This is going to be your secret off-road car. It's really not too difficult. It's just made more awkward where the actual ping begins for this one right outside the Ferrari dealership. So in terms of the actual location, it's in the main built-up area of Repulse Bay, right below the workshop on the main beachfront. Number two is a very awkward one. This one is basically in the middle of nowhere. In fact, the only reason I managed to find it is because I ended up rolling down the hill at some point and this tracker started going off for the actual wreck location. I kept on going forward and there's actually a secret trail down here that will lead you to this very, very open area. It's a huge sprawling place and you're actually looking for this little building right here on the left. I don't know if it's kind of some skate park or ramp area, but it looks pretty cool and I'll be checking it out at a future time. Now in terms of the car, this is the secret classic car. Again, it's going to be in this huge sprawling open area just off the secret trail itself next to this little building. In terms of the map location, very awkward to find. As you can see, it's right at the peak of Repulse Bay in this big huge section where the road sort of splits off so again very awkward okay moving on district 8 chai wan there are two wrecks to collect here once again i believe there is one of each now the first wreck i ever collected in game was this one right here this is going to be the mercedes 300 sl where the streets headquarters is it's in the sort of shipping container area just a couple of streets down as you can see look for a gap in the middle drive in and go ahead and collect your classic sports car so where you're looking on the map is right where the street hq is it's going to be a couple of streets up and then this big open container area right here so that is going to be collectible number one for district eight collectible number two here is going to be to be between some of the apartment blocks and it's going to be right towards the back towards one of the secret trails now in terms of the location it's going to be in this sort of built up area you'll kind of know when you're in the area and it's going to point you towards these block of apartments so in terms of the map itself if i just bring it up it's towards the bottom left of the chai wan district it's again a very sort of apartment complex section of the map so let's move into the ninth and probably most awkward district this is going to be shek o there are two wrecks here and both of them are extremely awkward you're definitely going to need some type of off-road vehicle to get to them both of them on very very hidden trails now in terms of the first one you're just basically going to follow the trail all the way down to this loop de loop section at that point head towards the peak and there will be your secret classic car very awkward to actually find the secret trail itself but let me show you on the map where the meeting point is towards the right hand side of Sheko, it's actually going to be just off the sort of end of the map itself drive towards the left follow the trail all the way up again in terms of the next one this is probably the most awkward one to actually get in game now this is honestly one of the most troublesome collectibles in the game because of how wide open this area is and the fact that it is not marked on the map until you get down here. So in terms of actually getting the ping location, it's not even going to ping off the main road. You're looking for another loop-de-loop -loop section in front of this sort of little bunker there. As you can see, you have to sort of drive off the main road towards the left-hand side of the map, follow the trail all the way down. So let's move on to the 10th district next. This is going to be Stanley. There are two wrecks once again to collect here, one of each. Now in terms of the first one, this is super simple. I actually got this on my way heading into Stanley itself to actually go to one of the dealerships. 
Well, you're going to see the ping off the main road. You're then going to look for this sort of parking area. And the wreck itself is going to be directly 180 behind you right at the end towards these garages so there you go that is your secret off-road car in stanley now in terms of the map location stanley is a pretty big area and it's towards the very left hand side of it again it's just off the main road into stanley itself so let's head over to the second wreck this one extremely awkward to get you'll probably get the ping when you're up on the main road and then you'll realize that the ping might start fading away so what you really need to do if you get the ping up here is aim towards the corner and throw yourself down as you can see it's quite a wide open area down there and there is a few buildings and a beached area so for me that was just the easiest way to get to this collectible was to just launch myself down the hill and eventually get to the bottom of this sort of big built up area smash the gate down head into the middle and your collectible is going to be sat there waiting the mercedes 300 sl now in terms of the map location once again it's a little bit off the beaten path so here you go towards the bottom of stanley itself just towards the sort of northern part of the southern part of the map if that makes sense it's going to be just here off the beaten trail you'll probably get it ping on the main road district number 11 is tied tam there are two wrecks here once again one of each now the first one again can be a little awkward to get but it's going to be right towards where the meeting point is there's going to be sort of a little offshoot location this is going to take you down a big long off-road secret trail and you're going to find your secret off-road car right there at the end of the sort of dam area i like to call it and that's exactly what it's going to be called so just look for this area as you can see follow the secret trail all the way through and there you go now the next one once again is going to be an off-road vehicle however in terms of the actual ping location it's a little bit awkward to get you're looking for these red barriers just off the road and then you're going to go upwards and sort of follow it through there's also going to be a money collectible here so go ahead and just pick that up it's kind of on the way but it's an extremely hilly and awkward section to get up again i do recommend an off-road vehicle to get this one done and what you're going to do is find the location right towards the end now in terms of it you're going to follow it through this sort of big ditch area it's then going to begin to open up and the trail feel like it goes on for absolutely ever once you get to the wooden boards you're going to head straight towards the end and see it part in the open location so there you go secret classic car that is both of the wreck locations in tide tam in terms of the map itself, it's not too bad. It's right towards the top left section of the map. It's just off an extremely awkward off-road trail. Next up is going to be district number 12, Victoria Peak. There is one single wreck in this location. It's pretty easy to find. As you can see, you'll start getting the ping in this built-up area up the mountainous road. You just want to follow the hill up, take a tight left, and you're going to find a bit of a construction area towards this actual speed trap location. So once you head towards there, you're going to see a bunch of cranes just turn left there up the steep hill, and you're going to find your wreck just in the sort of built-up section towards the left where the whole building is kind of under construction head towards the crane and there you go secret classic car ready for you to collect this is the only collectible in victoria peak now in terms of the actual map location for it as you can see victoria peak itself quite a big vast area however it's going to be slap bang in the center just above the off-road dealership and just kind of near where the actual speed trap location is just there District 13 is Wan Chai. There are two wrecks in this location. The first one is super simple to collect. So you're going to be in this sort of really kind of built up city area. Now you're going to probably see the wreck location and it's actually going to be in this sort of offshoot bit where the ramp is in a construction site. So you can go sort of go through the little kind of rubble area, but it's extremely awkward. Just take the ramp and right next to the bottom of the crane is going to be your secret classic car. Again, just hidden away there, ready for you to collect. This one is quite simple to get, probably may even be one of the first ones you collect in game. So in terms of actually going and finding it on the map, it's gonna be right in this location here. So as you can see, District 13 Wang Chai, it's gonna be slap bang in the center, right in this sort of city area, and it's gonna be in that construction site. So where the sort of petrol station is, just south of that, 
towards the left hand side so let's move on to the next location this is going to be in a massive construction area so you're probably going to get the ping outside this big ward off area to smash through the gate in and then you're actually going to probably spend a lot of time looking around for this or at least i did maybe that's just because i'm stupid but who knows so again i was just looking around for it waiting for the ping to go even quicker drove away from it and then it kind of disappeared and faded out there's a bunch of other collectibles in this location as well so I'm just going to speed this section up to where it actually is. So what you're going to look for is actually this section that is going to be towards the left hand side of the actual gate. So once you get in, the best thing to do is just turn left and it's actually going to be hidden right towards the end of this area where all the trucks are parked. Underneath the shelter is going to be your off-road vehicle ready for you to collect. Again, it can be a bit awkward as it is such a vast location. It's right towards the right hand side near the leisurely stroll of event and also just below the meeting point and finally district 14 the western district there are three wrecks to collect here and this is where we're going to finish off now in terms of the first wreck it's again quite awkward because it'll ping up a way away from where you actually need to be where the meeting point is on the left you actually want to head past that into this sort of mapped area on the map that isn't actually showing a road at this point you want to head all the way to the end of the dock on your left hand side and it's going to be hidden around the back of a shipping container near some pallets as you can see it's going to ping the wreck back up so it'll actually go off the map and then ping up again it's going to be all the way towards the left hand side of this section so as you can see here where this tent area is you're going to see a bunch of shipping containers towards the left where all these pallets are and there you go that is your secret off-road car collectible now in terms of the location itself it's not a marked area on the map exactly there's no actual true road here and again it is a big section it's going to be right at the top north of this part of the map as you can see right towards the end of that pier now in terms of collectible number two this one isn't too bad it's going to probably ping you when you're underneath the overpass where the freeway sort of is you're actually going to head into a parking lot and that is where it's going to be so as you can see it's going to ping up i'm just looking around here at this point thinking okay maybe it's in this actual car park but it isn't where it actually is is in sort of a secret underground car park there's also another collectible in there if you're trying to collect those radio ones as well so the best way to actually enter this you don't actually have to go through the car park is just take a straight right hand turn head into this underpass car park section and again there's going to be this collectible here for your reputation and then if you head towards the right hand side right at the end it's going to loop back around and take you into the kind of secret car park area and this is where the mercedes 300 sl collectible is going to sit ready for the taking again it can be quite awkward for this one in terms of the location it's right to the right hand side of the map itself it will ping you when you're kind of on the actual overpass itself but you kind of have to be underneath so there you go one more collectible left let's go ahead and actually grab it now in terms of this final one it's going to ping you on this sort of mountainous road and it's going to be all the way at the top of one of the peaks of i guess a mountain it is quite high up it's kind of well off the beaten path so once you get into this section it's quite obvious where it's going to be just follow it around you can't really get lost too much there's a bunch of different roads so i sort of looped around all the way in a big circle to see if it was on any of the outside sections it's actually going to be on this tiny road here now once you take the left hand turn it's going to lead you downhill to where the kind of supports for the buildings are and that's exactly where the final collectible is going to be for you to collect so there we go that is all of the collectibles in terms of the map location for this final one again it's kind of at the top of the peak of a mountain it's a very very off the road path there's not really much in this location other than some of the speed traps so as you can see it's going to be right there where the kind of mount davis area is i believe it's called so there we go that is all of the secret wreck collectibles to get your hands on both the secret cars in game the vw baja bug and of course the mercedes 300 sl these are pretty cool collectibles again i hope this guide really did help you if there's anything else you want to see from this game be sure to just leave it in the comments below and i'll go ahead and see what i can do thanks so much for watching take care guys peace